Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me calling over Q3 of the weekly contest 237. Um, and it seems like this was the one that I wish I had back because, and probably the, the hardest problem of the contest, not just by me, but for other people. Um, and it is single threaded CPU. So it's, I think the, the hardest part, at least for me, about this problem is just thinking about it in two steps. But really, if you if you slow down and look at every step or like follow what they tell you to do uh, here, you know, the, the, and implement it using a heap and um, yeah, a heap and 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 that's pretty much it, really. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And this took me a long time. It took me 15 minutes to debug on this problem. Um, but yeah. But basically what I do is that, okay, so for every task, I I sort it by the starting time, how much time it takes, and then just the index because we, we have to keep track of it. And then we sort sort it. And I, for me, I just put on a, a, a queue just to make things easier. And then now we stop the, the current time is equal to zero. While... While... Um, while there are things on the queue, or there are jobs available to be, to be done, I do this loop, which is, you know, this is more like rephrasing the problem that they ask you now that we have the data structure in place, which is a heap. And it is something that you should, you know. Um, so the, my biggest struggle was just using, I think I, I was using the same sort key um, on here versus the heap. And that's where I got a little stuck. And I, once I realized that, uh, that that's why I was having issues. It became easier, but eh, I wish I had it back. But basically, this is saying, okay, you know, let's say you know we look at the current time and we look at the number of tasks that we can do um, that we haven't done yet. And for every task that you know now is available, we we just pop it off to the left and then we push it to the heap of things that are available. Given the now, we want to sort by. Um, the duration of the uh, of the task, which is given in the problem, they tell you to do this, and the tiebreaker is sort by index. And then for I just I actually don't think I need this to be honest to start, but uh, and I don't, so I don't know why I kept it here. Um, well, in either case, yeah. And then once you do that, uh, so now these are this this just. This loop just adds, hey, let's figure out all the tasks that are available and then put it into availability. And then here is, okay, if any task is available, then we take the first one off the heap, uh, which is the smallest one, which is the one that has the lowest T, uh, lowest duration. Um, we, we now look at the current time and then we add it to T, or we add T to the current time, and then we execute the index. Um, that's, that's basically the idea. Now this job is done, and then we go through the loop and we do it again. If there was no job to be available, that means that we want to get the next element on the on the task list. So what I did here is I just set the current is you go to uh, to to yeah I set the current time is you go to the time of the next uh, task. Otherwise I break, but this should never happen um, because if this happen because if this end this is for uh, false. Then, well, this would have this while loop would not have happened. So, uh, but yeah, um, cool. So that is the invariant. So what is the complexity here? Well, you know, as you see, there's a sorting here, so it's going to be at least n log n. Um, and here, this loop will execute, you know, once or eh, let's say ch twice per task, one to push into the heap and wants to wants to uh, pop it off the task. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, so this is going to be, oh, two, let's say two times n for each element at worst. And for each element, it is going to pop left, which is just all of one. And also both push to the heap and then pop to the heap or from the heap. So it's going to be log n time. So each, each item, each task will take log n time and there's, or O of log n times, and there are n items, so it's going to be n log n. Uh, so yeah, so whole algorithm, the whole t algorithm is going to be time is n log n, and of course space is just going to be O of n because of 
you know, the answer we have to store each, you know, yeah. Um, and also availability is also all of and they're both linear to, uh, space. So yeah, that's all I have. And you can watch me kind of fumble through this embarrassingly during the contest. Next.
this one. so bad today on this one
I've sold by length, that's my so bad at this no this is this part is right But we want to push something else, that's why. a mess hey yeah uh hope you enjoyed that explanation or video uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord join me on twitch whatever you like join me on instagram i guess uh yeah uh i'll see you next time but stay good stay healthy and to good mental health bye bye